Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So we got Miles Sanders up next for the film analysis, and I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. I had no intentions of doing film on this dude simply because I just didn't think anything stood out about him or any of the Eagles running backs in 2019. But the reason why I'm doing the film now is because I just kept seeing a lot of people talk about how Miles Sanders is going to have all these crazy numbers in 2020. People were saying he's going to be a top five rusher. People were saying he's going to have 2,000 scrimmage yards. People were saying that, you know, just saying all the crazy bold predictions. I'm like, well, hold up. Who is this dude? Well, like, what's really all the hype about with Miles Sanders? So I actually went ahead and checked him out. The first thing I look at is his stats. The numbers look pretty good. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I really feel like the stats are acceptable, especially when you take into consideration that this dude only started 11 out of 16 games. And even throughout those 11 games, he was splitting a lot of carries with Jordan Howard and I think Wendell Smallwood as well. So, the numbers are pretty much valid, but we all know that numbers do not tell everything. When you look at the film, the first thing that stood out was the agility and acceleration, man. On this play right here, he's able to quickly make a miss and accelerate into the hole. Same thing right here. He's able to cut into the hole and then quickly juke to make three people miss. Same thing right here. He avoids the backfield stop with the move and accelerates for the yards he was not even supposed to have. Right here, he's able to run to the right, cut back to the left and accelerate through the hole and then hit some more moves, man. Right here. Quick side step to make a miss and accelerate to the hole. And one more time, he's able to figure out where he want to go, cut back and accelerate through the hole, man. I'm trying to slow down when I talk, but when dudes hit moves like that, I got to talk a little bit faster, man. Now, another thing I want to point out about Miles Sanders is that he is not a power back at all. But from time to time, he is not afraid to fight for extra yards, and he does not go down fast considering his size. Right here, he loads the shoulder and keep the feet moving for the extra yards. Same thing right here. He cuts outside, boom, for them extra yards. You feel me? Same thing right here. He didn't get physical, but he got low and kept the feet moving for them yards. Same thing right here. Get low, keep the feet moving for them extra yards. This is something that running backs need to do anyway, but for some reason, we got our select few of running backs out there that don't like to get physical. Now, another way this dude is good is in the passing game like we already discussed earlier, man. Boom, hitting with the move, reverse field, put him on the ground, and we just go keep on going with the acceleration to get the rest of these yards, man. On this play right here, Carson Wynn, he's looking downfield. He scrambles out. He's looking. He's looking. And he throws the ball great concentration to catch the ball in the back of the end zone when two guys could have easily intercept that ball. Off the screen, he got the moves, man. Boom, break over. Go back, boom, hit him, put them on the ground. Yeah, you feel me? It was only like a three-yard game, but the moves is there. And on this play right here, he's catching the ball deep and hit Harrison Smith with the move. I didn't know Harrison Smith was out here looking like that. Madden got him looking like a killer, man. Now, one last thing I want to talk about with Miles Sanders is that he showed he can be a patient runner, bro. He will go out there, process the play, and then attack. He's not going out there forcing things, man. He just takes his time and then attack the weak spots, man. A lot of running backs wouldn't even cut outside anyway or probably don't even got the quickness to cut outside. Right here, patience, attack, man. You feel me? If he keeps these traits, he will be a valuable back for years to come. And he actually came out and said he wants to be like Chris McCaffrey. He actually came out and said that he wants to be able to be unstoppable, you know? If he's not able to run the ball, cool. Give me the ball out the backfield and I can make a play. Line me up at slot and I can make a play. And that's definitely the right mindset. You're already an all-purpose back. You're already able to catch the ball and run. Why not try to be an elite talent like Chris McCaffrey? If Miles Sanders wants to be like Chris McCaffrey, he's already not afraid to challenge defenders. He's already getting low, lowering the shoulder from time to time. But if you want to be able to make a dude pay for trying to tackle you or just make a dude miss simply because you are stronger than him, get in the weight room, man. Get in the weight room all offseason, man. Keep doing what you do. Work on your hands. Make sure your hands are as good as they can be, man. Keep getting all your agility drills, all that stuff in. You go be solid, bruh. And even if Miles Sanders is not the running back that everybody is juicing him up to be, 
he's still going to have a job. He's still going to be a valuable running back to any team simply because he is an all-purpose back, especially if he remains healthy, bro. So I'm not even concerned about this dude, but he definitely still needs to get better to be the running back that everybody is juicing him up to be. But that's pretty much all I got to say. Let me know how you feel about Miles Sanders and let me know everything in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe because I got some more content coming soon.